It certainly hasn't stopped me from trying. I'm trying to get into Skullgirls. I have tried. That's the thing. It's like I know that I can't do it. I can't get good at that many games at once until I'm good at one. Uh, I, <laughs> I, 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 can, I tried the multi-game thing. It didn't work. I usually can only juggle like two or three games. Yeah. So. But no, I did. The, I took the easy way out. Like I tried playing Melee and Project M. Oh. So like I, I took the easy way out and I still could barely do it. I still try to do it sometimes. Every now and again, I'm like, yeah, I'll play Melee. But uh, this ain't Melee. Where's the melee? <laughs> uh, but uh, here we have Narc, and I don't know who his teammate is. Chima, who's his teammate? Oh, there we go. Oh, Narc. Oh, it's Stereo Kid. How did I not uh, know that? I feel I feel ashamed of myself for I, not knowing. I that. don't know anybody's faces. I just know their but, names. Uh, we got a uh, Team Earthbound versus uh, I almost said Team S tiers, but it, I don't think. Wait, no, Quaff plays Meta Knight. Who's Twisted Fly? Meta Knight, Meta Knight, and Wario. Wario. Okay. So. And not as tears. <laughs> well, one of them is. Yeah, one but, um, of them is. Team Aerial Mobility. Yeah. Yeah, you, that's. Team Protect Disguise. Alright. Definitely. Here we go. First pick uh, Pokemon. Button Warmers? Button Warmers. Yeah, okay. they're just. Because, like, he started attacking, so I'm like, is it Button Warmers? It looks like uh, Stereo Kid Quaff are doing a. Uh, Looks like they're actually fighting, but yeah, I forget what else the like official name. There's like an official name where like you do butt warmers by actually like playing a game. Yeah, air quotes. Oh my god, that fight was sick. So um, I kind of want to give this to Team Quaff uh, Twisty. Uh, matchup wise, not necessarily yeah. player skill, but definitely matchup wise, because both the Earthbound uh, don't really have that great a recovery in in terms of. Yeah, uh, it's very difficult. Yeah, and like it's Wario and Meta Knight, two characters that are just gonna invincible yeah, there from ledge all day. They will do that 100 percent of the time. On stage, I think Team Earthbound has it simply because of uh, the Earthbound's combo potential. Yeah, like they, when you get both, if they can get some nice team combos going, it'd be crazy. But um, definitely off stage. The off stage game definitely goes to uh, Quaff and Twisty. Looks like uh, Twisty has taken the support role. Definitely, uh, Wario does do a good job stock tanking, so because he's so floaty and yeah. he doesn't really get comboed too easily. But Meta Knight definitely has the better recovery. Oh yeah. Well, kind of. Better in the terms of mix-ups. Wario yeah. kind of has to, you know, he has to burn Waft or something. Uh, but yeah, Meta Knight definitely has a more Oh, blue recovery. team in a rough spot. Ooh. Quaff for one second comboing both of them at once. That down throw, uh, Meta Knight's down throw, it actually has hitboxes. Yeah, it has hitboxes on the ground. So, he can do that safely without getting punished. If, he gets, if you get too close and don't space yourself correctly, yeah, you'll definitely get hit by it. What were we cheering for? Was that like Meta Knight's cheer? That was Meta Knight's cheer, yes. Sam, I don't think I've ever actually heard that. Ooh, nice DJC back air. Alright, let's see let's if they can, can clean up and guard. stop. Nice down air, and no meteor cancel from uh, Twisty. Interesting. Oh, oh, but he kills himself, and it's suddenly a very even game. Like, no. if they can get some gravy on this, like, it, they can turn this into, like, a real lead. All right. Oh, uh, now it's dead. actually even. They needed to turn that 2v1 into something to give them back the lead, and Team Earthbound is just racking up so much damage. They're basically in the lead now, actually. Just, yeah. Like, just barely. There it gets back. Ooh, miss spaces that back air and gets hit by the side B. Uh, Stereo Kid did. Nice Zare from ledge. I love that as an option. I think it's usually a flub. Uh, I don't, I don't understand it's, why you'd use it's it. It's a flub if you uh, miss your wave land. Oh yeah. Because the, the Earthbound kids kind of have a harder. Uh, he saves him. That was dead. No. That was very dead. Let's see if we can edge guard him though. Oh no, he decides to help his teammate. I'm seeing a lot of non-committal stuff from Narc. He, he was like, no, I'm gonna go edge guard uh, Twisty. No, I'm gonna go help uh, Stereo Kid. All right, but it's pretty much even, only 88% on one player. Oh, Narc needs to save him. It's an edge guard situation. Narc needs to do something. He needs to save uh, Stereo Kid. All right, Stereo Kid, not no, back yet. He almost got back. Nice air dodge. All right. Narc let him get back on stage. Alright, alright, he's back on stage. 
be the start of something. Nice back here, they have it. Oh, oh my god! Massive Great damage. damage. Alright, if, if they can keep Stereo Kid alive, but oh. that Waft takes out Narc, and the side B takes out Stereo Kid. Nice. Great play from Twisty. Great uh, target switching. Yeah. He went straight from killing Narc to Stereo Kid. Amazing team swipe. He's like, all right, so they're running it back. I got, I got both of y'all. They're running it back. I kind of agree with this. It was very close. Uh, it wasn't close to start, but they definitely started to bring it back. They started to get some nice momentum going. So they could definitely take this game. Nice pressure from Narc. I personally think they should have gone for a smaller stage. I can see what you're going for, uh, trying to kill Wario and Meta early. Yeah. But, um, I... Simply based on the whole momentum thing, I do agree with this, but I see what you're saying. Yeah. Wow, oh. I'm not sure if that was a flub, but that definitely was not the most optimal of uh, half wops. That was very most And likely. Twisty kills both his teammates with an up throw up air. But it's worth or, uh, it, one because of his teammates. he kills the yeah, other but he, guy, too. If he didn't kill Stereo Kid off uh, next second, it wouldn't have been worth it, but... I'll throw up air, man. It's not All just right. melee. Lucas just got full charge. You get like a down or up air setup. It is Pokemon. That low ceiling will lend to them killing early. Very early. I believe around 90%. Like, yeah. like that? Yeah, dude. Full charge. And on uh, no forehead. Nest, man. Strongest forehead gaming. Almost killed Twisty. Back throw down me from a uh, quad to take on Stereo Kid. They are even in stock count, but not in percent. Um. Ooh! Wow, that's a big back air. That Soft is up how air you, to down me. That is how you use your half cloth. There we go. Great kill. It is dead even again. This definitely is not a blowout on either side by any means. I appreciate you removing your headset for that. I did not want to sneeze into the mic. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Blue while you were sneezing, Blue Team has lost two stocks. Yeah. Very unfortunate for them. <coughs> Alright, I'm back. I'm officially back. Anyway. <laughs> They, they need to seal these stocks out fast. And whiffing up smash is like, that's not going to do it. And he DIs away on the down beam. That's it. Let's see what team combo and they can get. that waft, not it. But this is very hard. With a recovery like Ness's, 2v1 comebacks are not easy. And he's off stage. And Quash is going to go all the way in for it. He's all still right. living. That was amazing, DI. Angles? I mean, I don't want to, like, say. Yeah, yeah it's over. It, it's, okay. Alright, uh, so extremely close 2-0. Very good play from the, the Earthbound kids, but um, it, a lot of it just came down to team's play.